Good morning, good morning, good morning, everybody. Mr. Jimmy coming to you one more time this morning on a Monday morning. Monday morning, indeed, it is April 10th, 2023. April 10th, 2023. Starting out on a Monday morning. Yesterday was Easter. So I enjoyed a good Easter weekend. Have mercy. I am rolling strong this morning. Got a good night's sleep. Got a good weekend rest. Didn't go anywhere over the weekend. Stayed at home. It rained the whole weekend. And that did turn out at the end of Sunday. Sunday afternoon turned in. Started turning pretty. Started turning pretty and it was beautiful Sunday evening or Sunday afternoon. And uh <clears throat> turned out to be a beautiful day yesterday the second half of it anyway folks we uh we didn't go anywhere we did go to the market over the weekend and bought some groceries and that was a, that's always a major expense right there lord have mercy it's expensive for anything anymore that's just a way of keeping everybody on the bottom down going up with prices it don't matter if you get raises and all that kind of stuff. Well, it does matter because you got to get them raises in order to be able to survive because the cost of living and the price of everything keeps going up to where you got to get a little raise here and there just to stay above the water. And even then, sometimes you could drown in debt or lose everything you have because it's so hard to stay afloat because you know not all of us were born with a silver spoon in our mouth not all of us were born rich to a rich family you know wealthy family what i would say wealthy so we got to struggle we got to fight and we got to scratch for every little dime we can get you know the old saying they say money is the root of all evil uh, don't worship money and all that kind of stuff. That's bull crap. Because you can't even live in this world without money. Oh, you talking about, unless you're talking about somebody that's sleeping in the woods under a log and it's freezing in the winter, winter time, possibly dying, or having a heat stroke in the summertime and the dead of the heat. Unless you're talking about me. Otherwise, you better get out there and make a hustle and make some money. To live unless you are living off of somebody living off of mom and daddy living off of a spouse or living off of a boyfriend girlfriend type deal unless you're doing stuff like that you better get out there and make some money oh yeah I forgot unless you're living off of the government which is the tax paying money that's from the taxpayers like me that are paying taxes that their government is taxing on every cent that we make in order to pay individuals that live off of the government. So, thank you very much. So, anyway, folks, <laughs> that's the start of our day. How about that? Folks, I'm just cutting up this morning, just spitting it out. You know what I'm saying, just talking off the top of my head. All right, back now, settle back now. Let's calm it down. Let's get back in the groove. Oh, yeah. Anyway, folks. I had a super awesome weekend, chilled. Even watched the movie. I watched the uh, the new Shazam movie, something other, um, something. It was the new one, anyway. Wasn't really impressed. I didn't think it was. Uh, I mean, it was okay, but there's some things that they're squeezing in the movies. It's just ridiculous, but. It was an okay movie. I would give it maybe <coughs> three stars. Yeah, I'll give it three stars out of five. Three out of five. I'll give it three out of five stars on that new Shazam movie. Something with the gods or something other. Like, uh, anyways, we are rolling strong this morning after a wonderful weekend. I'm not grumbling and griping this morning, my folks. I'm just spitting off stuff off the top of my head. If this is the first time you've stumbled across my videos, by all means, 
on the bottom right hand corner click that subscribe button go ahead i'll wait for you right there that little subscribe button right there on the bottom right hand corner or you go down in the bottom down there and click subscribe make sure you hit that notification bell too because that means that you can be notified every single time that i post a video and be known that i don't have a production schedule I don't have a set script. I don't have anything planned out. My morning videos are raw cut. It's whatever's off the top of my head. I just spit it out. This is about the most talking that you will ever get out of me is in the morning time on my way to work, talking to this camera. This is about the only time or when I talk the most is right now, right here, right to you. Unless, you call me on the phone and we've been friends for a long time and I feel comfortable with you talking and you feel comfortable with me talking and I can just talk. That's different. <coughs> Excuse me. Other than that, I'm a pretty quiet person. <coughs> okay, now I want to start coughing. <coughs> Sorry about that. <coughs> but, anyways, I'm a pretty quiet person. Don't don't put myself out there too much, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm usually sitting back listening and observing my surroundings. Observing what's going on around me and what people have got to see. <laughs> but anyway, folks, I like to make these morning videos, get the thoughts off the top of my head, whatever's been floating around up in there. I dreamed all night, but I can't remember what it was I dreamed. Ain't that something? That is so ridiculous. I remember dreaming, and you, the fragments of your of your dream are like floating there, and you, you you just can't focus on them. Sometimes, I think sometimes when you first wake up, if you're thinking about the dream, you can remember a little bit of it. But that doesn't happen with me very often. Um, Alright, well we rolling strong, rolling strong. Passing the Walmart over here. Get on the road, bro. Get on the road. Get off the rumble strips. Walmart over there to the left. Of the Z71. Yeah folks, we rolling strong this morning. Other than, you know, dreams, you know that I just can't remember what a dream. That's crazy. But other than that, over the weekend, you know, I had time to sit back and reflect, think about stuff. You know, one thing I'd like to say is this social media stuff, um, it amazes me sometimes when uh, on social media we can post something and, uh, We can post something on social media, and it amazes me at the backlash that we can sometimes get for posting on social media. You know, just posting not hateful stuff. You're posting good stuff. Posting loving, a loving gesture, a loving comment, and it is amazing how you'll you'll have somebody hate on it or make fun of it or laugh at it and I'm amazed at that it's just, I just don't understand it I mean unless someone is unless they're jealous you know if I compliment a woman on social media you know if I so if I come in I compliment a woman a single woman on social media and somebody laughs at the comment, that's just immaturity and uh, childish. Anyway, I say that because, you know, I, I saw something like that happen over the last few days or so 
or I posted uh, I posted something on Facebook. That's what it was. I posted a picture of something I found on Facebook. It's a, an internet picture that I found, not of any individual. It was two people with their hands side by side. And uh, I posted it on Facebook. It was cool. It was tattooed. Yeah. It was tattooed. It was two hands. It, was, it had a tattoo on it and everything. Tattoos. Matching tattoos or something like that. Anyways. I posted it on Facebook. And, uh, you know, everybody liked it. It was cool, you know. It's a cool tattoo. I don't have any tattoos. I don't have no tattoos on my body, okay? I don't have any tattoos. I saw this tattoo, I thought it was cool, and I thought it was cool. You know, I really did. I thought it was awesomely cool, and it is. Anyways, people were, like, commenting on it, like, everybody liked it and everything. It was cool, you know, nice and everything and all. And, uh, and this one person commented on it, and I, I commented, or replied to their comment, you know, and, uh, had people, uh, or some, oh, just one or two people, I think, laugh at it, my comment, or my reply to somebody's comment on my post. And I, I looked at it and I was like, why would they laugh at a compliment that I made to someone? And I thought to myself, I know what it is. It's pure jealousy in its raw form. What was the what was the purpose of laughing at somebody's comment or reply? Yeah. What's the purpose of it? Are you gaining anything out of it? Or, oh, wait a minute. You're trying to show how your reaction is to that comment. Like, your reaction, either you like it or you don't like it, but why would you want somebody to know you don't like a comment or like a reaction? You know what I'm saying, folks? If somebody criticizes, and it's pretty much what it is, if somebody laughs at a serious comment or reply, it's is it not a insult? Um, is it? I mean, I may be wrong. I mean, I'm no expert on psychology or anything like that, which that's just, just a made-up thing or whatever to make money off of people um because some people without common sense have to talk to a doctor people without common sense have to talk to a psychiatrist that's all anyways it just it amazes me you know people you know social media uh it's, it's, people out there Individuals, certain individuals, seem to feel like they need to criticize. And that's sad. That really is sad. Anyway, folks, that's just something happened over the weekend. I saw, I noticed, or whatever, you know, and it's just, you know, it's dear friends, you know, and stuff like that. It's just, you kind of have to overlook people sometimes. Jealousy does get the boost of some people. Um, and these are married people. These are, these are married individuals that are making these uh, insulting gestures. Married people. I don't know what that, you know, and, these, and I'm talking about Christian hardcore Christian married people making an insulting disrespectful gesture at your loving comment or reply to a loving comment anyway folks I'm, I'm talking about ain't dumb I'm done talking about that <laughs> That was just stuff, you know, that I come across on social media. That's why social media does not run my life. Sometimes all I do is post good morning, you know, over the holidays and over, you know, the past little uh, 
few months, you know, I, I like to post some music. It made it easy for you to be able to post music without copyrights and stuff. So I was doing that, and that was fun, you know, but then I kind of stopped doing that. Now I'm back to just posting. Good morning, everybody. You gonna wait to pop my lights on YouTube, huh? Um, I just post good morning to everybody. That's, that's it. That's all I do. I do, yeah, I do post a picture from time to time just to let y'all know what I'm, that I'm still alive and what I look like because I am aging pretty fast, it seems like. I'm not no young whippersnapper, so I want y'all to see me as I get older. I don't want to keep a young picture up and then all of a sudden, boom, you see what I look like in a 10-year-old, in a 10-year-later picture. You know what I'm saying? I want you to grow old. I want you to see me growing older so that you're not shocked, you know, from me being a young picture to all of a sudden an older picture. People don't understand the concept of that, and that's why I do it. I post pictures just so everybody can keep up to date on what I look like so they're not shocked when all of a sudden they go from seeing a picture from five years ago to seeing a picture of me now. You know, we get gray hair, folks. Our facial hair turns white, different stuff like that. We get wrinkles. We age. So, just, just understand that. Life is a funny thing, you know. So I post pictures just to keep everybody updated on what I look like and let them see me aging as I age. That's the only reason. I'm not posting pictures to get uh, attention or get popularity or get any freaking thing. I don't make these videos here to get attention or popularity. I make these videos for my own self. That's why I call it a talk therapy video because I'm able to get everything off my chest and off my mind because I don't talk to anybody. I don't have somebody that I can call up and talk about personal things or personal things that's bothering me or, or just stuff, you know, that we need to talk about. Stuff that's bothering you. You know? I just simply like to make videos in the morning time. It's something I stumbled upon. You know, I've been making videos and work and trying to get my YouTube channel rolling and this and that and other and uh, trying to get subscribers up on my YouTube channel. It's not for a popularity reason. Trying to get subscribers up, the reason for that is so that YouTube will monetize my channel. My channel, my YouTube channel is not monetized and, and most of my videos don't even get um, shown on the main screens and stuff because I'm not monetized. And that's the reason I always say, please subscribe to my channel. That's the reason. That's the reason. I gotta throw a stinky bag of a small bag of trash that <coughs> from Friday that I had in the back of the truck from the dump truck. It's a work trash and I need to throw it in this dumpster. Hold on just a second, I'll be right back. back rolling 
the bag rolling. Yeah, throw that bag of, that little shopping bag of trash out of the truck, the dump truck, in the back of my truck. And I forgot to throw it in the trash Friday when I left work. Anyway, folks, back on the road again. Going places that I've never been before. Well, that's a joke. Seeing things. <laughs> oh, my goodness, folks. Just another day in paradise it is. Just another day in paradise it is. Folks, I appreciate each and every one of you. You know I do. You know I do. Shout out to each and every one of my subscribers. I appreciate y'all so much. It means so much to me that y'all subscribe to my channel. It does. It really does. I am thankful. I am thankful and blessed to have you as a subscriber to my channel. And I am thankful and blessed that you take the time to watch the videos. Extra thankful for that. And I, I do hope that in some way I can inspire somebody. Or in some way I can make someone feel better about life. Or in some way I can make you laugh. Or smile or giggle or you know make you forget about a trouble that's bothering you or help you to understand that we're all the same way we're all the same going through same things we're all struggling in life nobody's better than anybody else i hope in some way i can help somebody out and that's why i like making videos it's not you know it's not all about me you know, I make them for my own self to get stuff off the top of my head. But sometimes, you know, I talk about something in hopes that maybe I can, I don't know. It's just my opinions. I mean, I don't want nobody to take anything I say serious. Um, what's my opinion is my opinion only. I don't push my opinions on other people. This is merely my opinions and my ideas, my suggestions on my channel that I spit out of my mouth, that I talk about. I don't, uh, I don't expect nobody to, uh, um, I don't expect nobody to, uh, follow anything that I say, you know, don't take anything I say serious. You know, if I offend anybody, I apologize. I I'm not here trying to offend anybody or make anybody feel, you know, less of anything. I'm just here, I'm just here to, uh entertain or kind of a double thing you know I'm, I'm here to help myself by getting stuff on my mind but also I'm here helping to possibly make somebody smile you know that's just that's just something I, uh, I do. But anyway, folks, we rolling strong here. We coming up on the truck yard here. Seeing what's going on up here with the trucks. It's a wet morning on a Monday morning. It rained all weekend, so it's, it's still wet. The ground's still wet. We'll be on standby this morning. That's why it's already starting to get a little light. Been on standby at the house. Now I just thought I'd come up here. I got to, I got to do some errands in town if we don't work. So I'm here. Um, come up by the truck yard, just kind of check things out, make sure everything's good to go. And if we don't work, no big deal. I, I'll go handle my business that I, that I need to go handle. And uh, that's all. That's all. But, uh, that's my, that's what my intentions are. That's what my intentions are. So I'm going to roll up here and I'm going to check this dump truck out this morning in case we work. It'll be ready to go. And if we don't work, well, I'll just uh, go back home. I mean, I'll go back home, but I'll go take care of some errands I need to take care of. 
ain't a big deal. Um, no reason we won't work if it's because it's rained all weekend. It's cause it gets mud out on the highways and byways, you know, and that's not good. Slinging mud off the tires and everything, you know, in the traffic and all that. It's just not a safe thing. So, you know, if it's too wet on the jobs, you know, it's too sloppy. They don't want us going in and out on them. So that's 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 one of the things. That's one of the things, my friend. But anyway, folks, I'm just going to. I parked right here because uh, um, I'm going to get out there and check that truck out. Get everything good to go. But I wanted to uh, stop and say that I appreciate each and every one of you. Thank you so much. I know I said it before, but I'm saying it again. Thank you for watching my video channel. One day I won't be here. You know, tomorrow's not promised. I might not be here tomorrow. This might be my last video. Hopefully, I can get it uploaded. So, folks, thank you. Thank you for your time. Thank you for taking the time to watch my videos. Thank you for taking the time to listen to my voice. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Life is short. Enjoy the people that are around you. So, anyway, folks. If y'all got to be out and about on the highways and byways today, do be safe and courteous and nice and do help somebody if you can. But above all, stay positive. In a tough world that we live in today, staying positive about the only thing you can do to, to keep from going crazy. Now, if you can't find a smile out there in the world, if you cannot find a smile, share one. You never know whose day you might brighten up. Somebody might be on the edge, on the edge of committing suicide or just giving up or throwing the towel in. Just share a smile. People scared to smile anymore. People scared to put their guard down and smile and be nice. Anyway, folks, until next time, I love you and appreciate you. But until next time, this is Mr. Jimmy. Peace out.